Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to use Casio FX570AS calculator to do the polar and rectangular conversion. So rectangular is also called Cartesian. So let's have a look here. As you can see on the screen on the left side, I have here uh, a polar coordinate with a R and theta is known. So let me just label this as R is equal 5 and theta is 20 degrees. You want, you want to get the x at this point because when you come down here we want to find x and we want to find y. To do the conversion I'm just pulling, pushing the calculator a little up. So here at the plus sign here we have pole and here we have another it's called REC rectangle. So I'm so th these buttons can be activated using the shift because I want a rectangle. So I'm using the rectangle, which is minus sign. Press shift rect, and you will see REC on the screen. Now we need to enter R first, and then the angle second. R is five, and then we enter the angle. To enter the angle, we press this closing parenthesis here is a comma, press shift, comma, and then the angle. The angle is 20 degrees. Now, I, my calculator is set at radian, so I will get the wrong answer, but I'm just doing it by purpose here. Okay, so we are getting x, which is 2.04. And then here it says y. So either I can scroll to the right to see y is 5, 4 point something. Okay, if you set this in radian, x is 2 and y is 4.5, it seems incorrect because uh, x is larger, uh, x is smaller and y is larger. This is as if the mm, my uh, vector was here. So. So let's set the uh, calculator to, to the proper format, which is degree. Press shift setup, number three, degree. Now look, x changes and also y, which was 4.5, will change. So now this is x is 4.69. And if I scroll to the right, 1.7 is the y. So this is a correct way to do the calculation. Now let's do this one. If you look here, uh, a r is 8 and angle is 30 degrees. So let's do it. Press shift and pull. Sorry, press shift and rectangle. r is 8 and press shift and this comma and 30. Now this shows x as 6.9 which is here somewhere uh, and it shows y as 4 which is incorrect. So the reason for that one is this angle is not 30 degrees but this angle is actually 90 plus 30 degrees. So this is from here. When you enter 30 degrees the calculator thinks it's somewhere here. So so actual theta is 90 plus 30 which is 120 degrees. So now let's enter that. I'm just editing it by left arrow press this and 120 close it. Now you will get a proper x is minus 4 And then y is 6.92, which is correct answer. 